Hello, this is Angela with Parker's Permaculture. We are at the Hoyt Arboretum today. Well, me and part of my family, I have kids one, two, and four with me and my husband. And I wanted to make a quick video about the Hoyt Arboretum if you don't know what it is. It is basically a tree zoo here in Portland, located near the Japanese Garden and Zoo in Washington Park. And arboretums are such an important part of the commons. And so I thought I would show you around. They're funded by our tax dollars. They belong to the people of the city. It's free to come visit. Such a great way to get a hike in, but there's also plenty of places for resting. You could just bring your book and read. You could bring a journal and journal. You could bring your art book and sketch. You could bring a picnic and hang out all day. So I thought I would show you a couple things that we are doing at the Arboretum today. We're doing my favorite trail, which is the Redwood Trail, and we are making a point to stop and see the magnolias that are in bloom. The Hoyt Arboretum, located in Washington Park in downtown Portland, is free to the public. There is free roadside parking if you can find it, and also a paid parking lot that is $4 for two hours. The Arboretum has an extensive collection of trees organized by group along themed trails. It's difficult for most people to cover the entire Arboretum in one day, so I recommend looking up what is in bloom or a visual interest at the time you're going and picking a few trails based on that information. I recommend starting at the visitor center located next to the parking lot where you can find digital or paper copies of the map to the Arboretum. This is also where the restrooms are located if you need to access those. Sights to see, like a children's one, and then if we're doing the Magnolia Loop, then they've got like stuff, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. It was the peak of Magnolia season while we were there, so we chose to focus the majority of our time on the Magnolia Loop Trail. All of the plants and most of the shrubs are carefully labeled so that you have accurate botanical information to either nerd out or in case you want to find inspiration for your own garden. Let's talk about accessibility for a moment before we get into the tree collections. Now, yes, you are allowed to bring dogs here provided they are on a leash and we saw loads of folks walking their dogs. No bicycles, however. The trails are pretty diverse. Some of them are more accessible than others. Some of the trails are narrow with a drop off and can be quite muddy and slippery. So if you have small children or you need accessibility aids, they may not be the best choice for you. However, the park has many smooth, flat, paved paths so everybody can access some part of the Arboretum. The Arboretum also cuts through residential areas and there are streets with vehicular access going through, so be aware of your surroundings when walking on the trails. Here you can see the path of the Magnolia Trail down to the grove at the bottom of a hill, just so you get an idea of what kind of path you may be walking. Now I noticed they extensively landscape with natives underneath the trees in the Arboretum. Mahonia, Oregon grape, fringe cup, and sword fern here, as well as native currants and thimble berries are used quite a bit along the paths, especially on steep slopes where they help with erosion control and securing the bank of those pathways. Here you can see sword ferns and salal helping secure that bank and prevent erosion along a steep path. So even though an arboretum is a collection of trees from around the world, they still make a concerted effort to plant natives and create habitat for native wildlife. The magnolia grove was absolutely stunning with varieties of magnolia that were not familiar to me. Now, I don't grow magnolias in my own garden because they're a specimen tree that's beautiful for a very brief period of time every year, and I don't really have space that I can dedicate much to specimen trees. And that's one of the reasons that I love the Arboretum, is because I can come and enjoy with folks in my community a huge diversity of beautiful trees. Even if I don't have space to grow them in my own garden, they're still in my community and we can enjoy them. While the Arboretum was not super busy, there were a number of families, including us, taking the opportunity to get some really lovely pictures with the magnolias as a backdrop. While each trail in the Arboretum does have a theme, and that way you can compare different species within a genus or within a family, side by side, growing in concert together, the areas are underplanted with other species, and I noticed in the magnolia grove, they chose to put pawpaws underneath the very large mature magnolia trees, and we enjoyed looking at the sapsucker damage on them. 
So why do I love the Arboretum so much? Obviously, as a plant nerd, it's an incredible scientific collection of trees, but also it is a beautiful example of the commons. It is funded by the community. It is for the community. It is a place to gather. I noticed folks were having picnics there. Folks were spread out on blankets reading books. Folks were there with their families hanging out. And for me, I just love that this is something that we as a society have decided is valuable and we want to fund and we want to make accessible for everybody, not just for scientists, but for everybody in the community, that a place can stack functions. It can be a scientific endeavor. It can be a botanical collection. It can also be a shared community space. And we have decided to prioritize funding, maintaining, and improving that space. And it really makes me think about what if our entire society was organized in a way that prioritized community spaces, the commons, the way we do things like the White Arboretum. Speaking of community-minded institutions, the Arboretum is located on the site of a former poor farm. Before modern social safety net programs, poor farms were the way Oregonians attempted to feed and house and care for the struggling members of the community. Please see my video on Edgefield for another example of a poor farm in the Portland metro area. I know I said this trip was focused on the Magnolia Trail, but I can't go to the Arboretum and not walk my favorite trail, which is the Redwood Trail. If you are there, especially in the heat of summer, I highly recommend going to the conifer area of the Arboretum. The Redwood Trail is so beautiful. It's just absolutely magnificent. I felt compelled to reach out and touch all of the trees. It just invokes such a sense of awe and reverence. If you only have time to walk one trail at the Arboretum, let it be the Redwood Trail. It's just such a stunning walk. Loads of places to sit and observe and meditate and enjoy your surroundings and a truly beautiful walk. Favorite part so far? Ooh, um, kind of liking the Redwoods right now. Mm -hmm. It's very nice and excited. I really liked the magnolias because mm -hmm. they're in bloom right now. We took some good photos. But we could be here like all day or for days and not get like through all of it. For the weekend, yeah. Yeah. But we've got to only be here for a little bit today. I feel like we should come back in the summer and have a picnic. Yeah. When it's hot. Because it's, 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 it's shady. So shady. I feel like a lot of hikes are going are too sunny for the summer. Yeah. For me, when I think about what does it look like to embrace permaculture design principles when creating a just and livable society, I really think about the commons and how all of the ways that the various aspects of the commons enrich our lives, enrich our understanding, and give us opportunities to connect with each other and with nature. To me, they are the embodiment of what permaculture is. Okay, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. I hope that if you get a chance to come to Portland, you take some time to visit the Hoyt Arboretum. Spectacular any time of year. And I'll be back real soon with a regular video. Okay, bye.